Command R, I want to congratulate you on successfully completing the first test scenario. Only the most petty-minded subprocessor would notice that there was no fail option in the previous mission. Let us now turn to the second test scenario. This simulated Startopia station is located in orbit around Jupilberry 3. The galactic database contains the following information on Jupilberry 3, a fertile jungle planet whose inhabitants are often involved in wars because the other side of the planet always seems to be a bit greener. Commander, the aim of this test scenario is to adequately design the bio-deck on the Startopia so as to be able to harvest resources and have some of them processed in factories. In addition, various diseases are common in this region, so you should have a viable medical station. Now then, Commander, go ahead and show what you're made of. By the way, according to my scanner that's 60% hydrogen, 25% oxygen, 10% carbon and a few other odds and ends. Initiate welcome protocol. Welcome to the second test scenario, Command R. As mentioned at the beginning, you now have access to the bio deck to grow plants and create a cozy atmosphere for your visitors. In this scenario, you can expect more sick aliens on board, where a lack of treatment can result in a premature death. Command R, commence operations. Commander, you did acceptable work with the bombs in the last test scenario. RFS feels that such trivialities must be rewarded with more than just a virtual damp handshake, so a recycling station crate is hereby placed at your disposal. Commander, I see you've had a medical station built. Are you speculating that you will be able to handle this scenario without a berth? I can't wait to see. Commander, not that I doubt your mental abilities, but as a precaution I would like to point out to you the extremely banal logic that employing more dryads would ensure that you get the resources you need more quickly, as they sow new plants and harvest mature ones. Commander, you have successfully installed a cargo hold. Your trusty fuzzies can now store materials there. I congratulate you on accomplishing this mundane task. Hats off. Commander, you managed to build a factory. Remarkable, when I consider your accomplishments to date. Commander, your station is so covered in garbage that vermin capable of causing illness are already spreading. Cynical administrators would now begin to think twice. I am very curious as to your decision. Commander, with the hiring of a dryad, your bio deck is now being tended and producing raw materials. While this is essential for the completion of this test scenario, I was not sure if you would recognize that. It would seem that my evaluation process is a bit too pessimistic where you are concerned. Thank <laughs> you. 
Commander, your doctors have just successfully treated the first visitor. I think that is acceptable. Excellent choice, Commander. This means that you want to avoid using your cargo hold's contents if you can. What could possibly go wrong? Commander, you have successfully eliminated the vermin. Doing so can help prevent a greater spread of disease. Commander, I'd like to draw your attention once again to the compact map on the side where, among other things, the bio deck is displayed. Please make your way there. Commander, an alien has contracted an infection from the vermin. I wonder whether this is due to your general incompetence or your questionable morals. Commander, I'm fascinated by your efforts in building atmosphere filters. Personally, I find them a complete waste. Oxygen-based life forms are so inflexible. Commander, I'd like to inform you that you've already successfully treated one-third of the aliens required. I assume you feel almost competent now.
Commander, those hired dryads will hopefully reduce the duration of this scenario to an acceptable level. I think we can chalk that up as good work. Comment good work discarded. Quote. Commander, one of your visitors has accidentally forgotten a number of crates of garbage, which, while considered a delicacy, carries highly contagious pathogens and is prone to spontaneous explosion if left unprocessed. Should you wish to prevent a viral explosion on board, you should remove those objects. A cynical commander might however take advantage of this. Commander, there's a rumor that a traveling doctor who was coming to assist you just flew past your base. Unfortunately, you were unable to pick up his transmission, as you have no communication center. An excellent choice, Commander. More heat is bound to benefit the plants and has absolutely no harmful side effects. For electronic life forms, I mean. Commander, I find that the alien treatment is proceeding at a reasonable pace, considering the circumstances. By circumstances, I mean you, in case you missed that little dig the way you missed all the digs before. Commander, you have successfully harvested several plants. Obviously, all those years of training have paid off by enabling you to perform such a trivial task. Commander, more than half the visitors like Startopia. At least it's a start. Commander, a very ill alien with a severe form of lupolioitis has arrived at the station. You should ensure that this visitor is treated quickly as the disease is highly contagious. Prevent your visitors from being harmed at all costs. I will instruct my fuzzies to release the hallucinogen into Startopia's air ducts as soon as possible. You will see how wonderfully it works before you can even say neurotoxin.
Commander, you actually managed to heal your critically ill visitor. Okay, of course you yourself didn't lift a finger, at best it was your grey employees, but still. You should be aware that a critically ill alien has come to visit. Ensure their quick treatment in the medical station. Commander, crates containing garbage will soon explode and infect scores of aliens.
Commander, your critically ill visitor has been cured. Commander, I admire your minimalism, as you have so far dispensed with the construction of a communication center. One hears, for example, of traveling doctors who could assist you, but probably that's not something you would be interested in. As you wish, Commander. I hope you've thought this through. You should be aware that a critically ill alien has come to visit. Ensure their quick treatment in the medical station. Commander, crates containing garbage will soon explode and infect scores of aliens. A seriously ill visitor has been successfully healed, Commander.
Commander, your critically ill visitor has been cured. Commander, a very sick alien has just come on board to receive medical care. Commander, a seriously ill visitor has been successfully healed. Commander, unattended crates of garbage are in danger of exploding. Commander, a seriously ill visitor has been successfully healed. A seriously ill visitor has been successfully healed, Commander.
Less than half your visitors are satisfied with the station, Commander. You should be aware that a critically ill alien has come to visit. Ensure their quick treatment in the medical station. Commander, your critically ill visitor has been cured. Warning, Commander, crates containing garbage will soon explode. Commander, I admire your minimalism, as you have so far dispensed with the construction of a communication center. One hears, for example, of traveling doctors who could assist you, but probably that's not something- A seriously ill visitor has been successfully healed, Commander. Commander, a critically ill alien seeking treatment has boarded Startopia.
Commander, your critically ill visitor has been cured. Warning, Commander, crates containing garbage will soon explode. Commander, a very sick alien has just come on board to receive medical care. Commander, your critically ill visitor has been cured.
Commander, unattended crates of garbage are in danger of exploding. Commander, a seriously ill visitor has been successfully healed. You should be aware that a critically ill alien has come to visit. Ensure their quick treatment in the medical station. Commander, you've harvested quite a few plants now. I still don't quite understand why you are allowed to kill these innocent biomass organisms so casually, but when a robot cuts one of those alien biomasses in half, all of a sudden there is a huge uproar. Commander, your critically ill visitor has... Thank you. 
Commander, your critically ill visitor has been cured. Commander, crates containing garbage will soon explode and infect scores of aliens. You have no capacity left for additional energy, Commander. You should be aware that a critically ill alien has come to visit. Ensure their quick treatment in the medical station. Congratulations are in order, Commander. You've performed reasonably well in this test scenario. Hats off. I shall record your mediocre actions in the Monument of Shame immediately. That's what I call your personnel file, Commander. You don't have to understand, it's an amusing data packet that goes back and forth between my sarcasm processor and my evaluation routine.